Let's go. Welcome to part one of our Super Mario Party discussion. In this first part, Andres and I discuss our overall impression of the game, as well as sharing our thoughts about the characters and minigames that are featured in this version of Mario Party. Enjoy the video! Hey guys, James Erickson here with my brother Andres to talk through our impressions of the newly released Super Mario Party for the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> now we've played a pretty good amount of the game since release. What are your overall impressions of Super Mario Party so far? My overall impression is <laughs> that I got pretty much what I was expecting. I mean, from what we could tell from before the game actually came out, it looked like they were going back to Mario Party's roots, where they took away the dumb car. Yes. And you're all on your own now, finally. And they cleared up the boards, and they cleaned a lot of stuff up, and that's exactly what it was. And it's, as most Mario Party games are, I think it's the most fun played with real people, and if you're just playing alone, it's not as fun, <laughs> but I guess yeah. that's to be expected for a Mario Party game, so yeah. I liked it. I'm happy they're back to what a Mario Party game is supposed to be like, and the minigames are a lot of fun, and they have a lot of cool modes, too, as well, so it's a good yeah. one. Yes, I agree. I'm pretty happy with the direction they're going with this game. Uh, Mario Party 1 through 3, if I had to pick any that I love the most um, from our past, uh, were actually some of my favorite Mario games back in the day. They weren't just my, like, they weren't just a game I like to play. They were one of my favorite games, and I think it's just because of the fun we had all together. Um, and after the gimmicks and the new things that they brought with other... Mario Party, some good, yeah. some really bad, <laughs> especially 9 and 10, I just felt like they were moving farther and farther away from what made Mario Party fun, I guess? Yeah. Especially when you had to do things, like, as a teen. I, I don't I don't know. They seemed to strip back a lot of the wild gimmicks and went back to what Mario Party used to be and what Mario Party seems to be purely? I don't, I don't know the <laughs> correct word. At the heart of the series. Yeah. It just seems like a fresh new start. And I right. think that's what Nintendo intentionally or uh, meant to do because now it's not Mario Party 11, it's Super Mario Party and it's it's uh it's definitely super. So we see a lot of new characters. A lot of characters that weren't in past Mario Parties. I believe yes. I'm pretty sure most of them or at least half of them weren't in. When the game was first advertised and you start seeing who was going to be in it, I was like, "Why are they bringing all these small enemies like Goomba and uh, Goomba. <laughs> I forget, but it's like, I feel like besides Bowser and Bowser Jr., all of the other enemy characters, which well, Goomba, cool, Monty, but... and Hammer Bro are probably the ones that stick out most. Oh, yeah, Hammer Bro also. They're just like, I feel like they could have, like, I feel and like Shy there's Guy. other people they could have brought in, but when I actually played, I was actually like, it's really cool that they added these guys, and it's fun to yeah. play as them. And for me, personally, I love Monty Mole. I don't know why, I just love his face <laughs> when he's just standing there. <laughs> I and I never thought I would have had a lot of fun playing as him, so it's cool. Yeah. When they first showed trailers out for this game, I, people have quoted me for saying, Why is Goomba in this game? Or whatever <laughs> I said. Um, which, still, to me, it's odd that they brought, like, brainless enemies to these yeah. games. Uh, also, Chain Chomp to Mario at Tennis Aces. But after, after you play... I mean, there's obviously nothing you can do about it, so I cry about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, after you play, it is funny to watch them, especially Goomba, who has no arms, and you don't really see him do the activities that he does outside of Mario Party or Super Mario Party or right. whatever. You don't see him normally do the stuff he does in this game. Yeah. So it's funny to watch him. And, uh, and Monty, yeah, like you said, Monty's so funny to watch because he doesn't really have any facial expressions, <laughs> and his idle animation is just standing still. And so everyone else is reacting really happily to what's going on, and he's just sitting there. And it's like he has all this personality without actually doing anything. <laughs> yeah. So I guess he's a great addition to yeah. this game. And yeah. I think it's cool that there's a ton of characters, and I think that goes right into what I want to talk about when it comes to, uh, well, from what it seems like, or for what it truly is, we've gone right back down to the basics uh boards with red blue spaces and then a couple event spaces and then you just collect the coins 
Your goal is to get the stars, and that's it. You get 10 coins, you buy the stars, the star moves around the board, and then you do it again, and, uh... And again and again and again. And then there's, after everyone's turn, there's a mini game, And it flows so well through this entire game. Everything, all the transitions, it's very fluid, it's very fast. Yeah. I love it. And, uh... To go along with what the, all the characters that we had just talked about, I love the addition of the separate dice blocks. I think it adds Me too. a good amount of flavor into this game. Yeah, I think so too. Um, and it's just interesting to analyze all the different dice blocks. Like Shy Guys is all fours except a zero. And then uh, Bowser's is minus three coins, minus three coins, one, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, I think and, the only uh, one I saw that I didn't care for was Monty's, actually. <laughs> he, he had, for instead of one, he had one coin, and then the rest was just the same. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So I was like, it's kind of pointless, yeah. but okay. There, there were, that one, I think that one in Luigi's was my least favorite. Because uh, Luigi had three ones, and then it was just a five, six, seven. Yeah, so you had more awesome. chances oh, yeah. to get a one, but seven was the only one that was different from the regular dice block right. when it comes to numbers. But I mean, even for this game specifically, five is pretty good. Like even Shy Guy zero and all fours, I don't hate. I'm like, four is a decent number. Yeah, I mean, if you can get four almost consistently, you're making a good, making the rounds. Right. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, overall, I it's, it's a lot of fun and you can strategize with it too. You know, say you're standing there and there is a bad luck space right in front of you yeah. you don't want to get a one so you're probably not going to use the regular dice block if your character block doesn't have a one on it right and if it's... you need to go farther you can use your character block if it has more spaces <clears throat> and uh yeah even though those are chance based which is one of the um the negatives of the newer mario parties is how chancy everything is i feel like with the dice here they're chance based, but you still have a little bit of say, like in choosing the dice. Yeah. Which yeah, is definitely. Good, Especially when you have allies. When you land on the ally space and you get yeah. someone to follow you, uh, you get their dice block, and then you have options. Like you can kind of um, filter through how much luck you have. You can right. kind of I don't know. You strategize. You strategize it so you have a better chance of getting what you want, and I like yeah. that. I think this Mario Party has its. Mario Party chance times, but it also <laughs> adds more strategy than the latest Mario Party games, like yeah. Mario Party 9, Mario Party Definitely. 10, stuff like that. Yeah. I, I enjoy it! So, uh, going back to the boards, we've dumbed down a lot of stuff, which is great. I remember, not dumbed down, but simplified some <laughs> of the spaces and the events on the right. board. And one thing that I don't, I didn't like in Mario Party, I, I don't remember when it was introduced, I think it was Mario Party 5, I don't remember. The capsules, where you would throw uh, oh, yeah. capsules around the entire board and then just create spaces. So it was like the entire board, it was hard to, it was hard not to step on a space that would make you do something. Yeah. And then the whole turn would just take forever. And I'm I glad know. that's gone. <laughs> Same. I know. I'm always brought back to like the thick of that kind of gameplay in Mario Party 7. Even though there's some stuff I like about Mario Party 7, I remember in one map or one board called Neon Heights, like toward the beginning, there was this place you could stop where you would have to like shoot cardboard characters. And then right after that, there was a minigame shop. And then right after that, there was oh, something yeah. else. I was like, oh my gosh, when is this going to end? <laughs> it's so, so crowded. Yeah. Because everyone loves the minigames. I mean, the well, minigames by themselves sometimes feel a little, not lackluster or whatever, but I feel like the boards and the minigames, in my <laughs> opinion at least, complement each other. But when the board takes way too long, then it's like, yeah, I don't know. You just get bored yeah. of the board. <laughs> and that was one of the problems with taking out mini games every four turns in nine yeah. and ten was uh, the board could still take too long, and then you'll I don't know you you don't know when you're gonna play a mini game again. So then yeah, it's it's what? extra boring. Just, what were they thinking I have no when idea. they did that? I, I don't know. Anyways, I know some of you guys <laughs> are okay with nine and ten, and that's okay. It's just you know we grew up with the other Mario Party, and uh, the majority I would say enjoy that style better. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. 
Um, that's why that's why we like this this uh, way better. That's right. that's why. Um, I would personally still say there's some stuff lacking when it comes to the board. In fact, I feel like they almost maybe not that they took out too much, but I feel like the boards are a little too small and they're a little too uneventful, <laughs> but not not in a horrible way. Just maybe right. uh, maybe tipping to that side a little bit. I yeah. don't know. Well, I mean, I think many know what you're talking about because yeah. something when we were playing, I mean, throughout the book, throughout all the boards, one thing I think all of us noticed was that the boards are a lot smaller. Yeah. than we're used to. And I kept thinking of Mario Party 2, uh, the pirate... <clears throat> I don't know why the pirate board kept coming into my mind, but yeah. the pirate board was so large, and you could go to one side of the island, like across the bridge, and then there was another island, and it just had a lot of spaces and a lot going on. Yeah. And the reason I enjoy bigger boards like that a little bit better <clears throat> was because... It was harder to get the star, I th yeah, think. I agree. I think that's why I like it better. I mean, at the same sure. time, I, I kind of like that they're trying this just to see how it works. And, like, yeah. you get less coins for things, and people don't rack up, like, a billions of coins. And I mean, even though I... I, I don't know, but it's it, hard. It seems <laughs> like it doesn't even matter in this game because the right. stars are so cheap. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. You get less coins, so things are cheaper, and it, it's, it doesn't get to... Uh, I don't know. I can't. I can't think. Well, but. I, it's. I mean, it's. I think it's just because it's such a new experience. We're still feeling this out compared to the other right. uh, Mario Party. Then I think what many of us need to remember is that this is also a new Mario Party. So there's going to be new things about it that we're just going to get used to and that we're going to enjoy because it doesn't have to be the exact way it was in the past. It just no, has yeah. to be in a way that's fun. Right. Um, but you know, to touch on some item issues. Uh, I mean, let's just think about some of the items in here. I, 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 it was interesting that they changed the mushrooms from being like the the uh, red mushroom. It no longer doubles your dice block. Yeah. It just adds three. <clears throat> and then the golden mushroom doesn't triple your dice block. It adds five, which makes yeah. sense because now we have allies and stuff that do yeah. that almost for you anyway. Not really, but if you have a lot of allies, then you're basically doubling your dice block. Yeah. Um, but also because the dice block doesn't go to 10 anymore, it goes to 6. So... Yeah. I think it works. I mean, to me, personally, I like uh, how they did the new items and how they affect the dice blocks and stuff. Yeah. One item that many seem to be having an issue with, and I'm starting to see... I mean, just as a concern. I don't know if it's much of an issue because you can... I mean, it might just have to be the way you play, but it's the golden pipe. And I think what people are saying is... Especially because it's very cheap. The Golden Pipe costs 10 coins. And uh, when you win a minigame, you get eight co about 8 coins. Sometimes 10. And you already start off with 5. So if you buy... And you're, like if you're winning minigames, you don't... Basically what I'm trying to say is... If you're doing well with coins, all you gotta do is keep buying the Golden, st the golden Pipe. And you don't have to even chase the star at all. You'll always yeah. be near it. A space right next to it. I guess um, I didn't realize you could buy more than one. Yeah. In fact, you could probably just buy three. You could rack up three and then win a bunch of mini games, and then just use it three times. Well, Every, then, I, mean, I guess as that person's opponent, you just gotta do the same thing. Yeah, I guess it's it's, it's either you're gonna chase the star on the spaces, or you're, <clears throat> everyone's just gonna chase the golden pipes. So, right. is it that much of an issue? I feel like in my mind, it's a gray area. I don't. I'm not aggravated by it. It doesn't make yeah. me mad. Um, but it did seem weird, and I just. I wonder how it's gonna play out. I've seen many people talking about it, so I just wonder where it's gonna go from here. And I wonder if. I mean, I, we've never seen Mario Party updated. I'm pretty sure, like nerfed any items, nerfed or buffed <laughs> or anything. So I wonder if Nintendo will ever take any of that into account. Yeah. Moving on to mini games. Um, yeah. I just want to say overall that I think 95% of the mini games we've played, I've enjoyed and I've felt really good about them. And it just makes me feel like, ah, I'm playing Mario Party. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think there's less stupid ones in this one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I mean, there's some that aren't as fun, but I only, I think there's only maybe a handful that when they pop up, I'm like, ugh, I, this is a waste of time. <laughs> yeah. But even even not too much. I think there's a lot of really good ones, a lot of fun ones, and a lot. I never really cared for the motion control mini games, but I think e even in this one, it's the ones that I, I personally don't like that much. I think they're it's utilized yeah. really well. I think it's uh, well done. Is that why you didn't really like Mario Party 8? Yes, probably. <laughs> there is some stuff I liked about 8, but I still think 8 suffers in yeah. multiple ways. That's funny, because I've really enjoyed Mario Party 8. I don't know why. Um, mm. But yeah, I agree. The minigames are great. Um, I think with the HD Rumble involved, uh, the minigames that utilize the HD Rumble yeah. use them perfectly, actually, and they're I really fun. I actually enjoy the Rumble ones. Like, I, yeah. when I, I think... I, w I would have thought that playing those ones, I would have been like, ugh, okay, here's a... We're using the motion controls, oh, it's so cool. But, like, I actually, when those ones pop up, like, the one where you have to guess which... What the, what the rumble's coming from for, like, three rounds, I actually yeah. like those games. I think they're fun. Yeah. yeah, I really like them, too. And the HD rumble feels really good, and it's very precise, and it's very high-definition HD quality. Right. It really, it really is, actually. <laughs> so, I, I think that was a very good move. On Nintendo for adding yeah. that and I think Mario Party is the perfect uh, game to utilize that and it's not yeah, uh, they definitely. use it in multiple uh, multiple games yes so even in cool. the battle battle mode has transformed into these small segments where it's utilized well oh, together, yeah where I actually really like what they did with that yeah so the mini games I loved I loved back in the day when we played I loved all the games that you had to either use strategy or it took skill to win because yeah. as Mario Party as Mario Party games got released more and more there seemed to be more chance based games I can't remember anything in specific but I remember feeling that way every time we played a new Mario Party uh, especially like 7 through 10 there seemed yeah. to be some more chance based games which is okay in moderation I guess yeah. but I think People get the most fun and most memories out of the ones that you really have to compete to win. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think this one goes back to that, and yeah. I've really enjoyed it. Like when we were playing with some of our friends recently, just yeah. the competitive ones where we had to do things in a specific amount of time or a spe a sp like a specific amount of things we had to do or just be the fastest to do something. Those are the most fun in my mind. Yeah, I think so too. There's, there's one minigame in particular that I remember. It was either 8 or 9 that had this one, but literally all you do, it's one of those coin mini games, and all you do is like jump and hit a dice block that gives you like 1, 2, or 3 coins, or 0. And that's all the game is. And I'm like, this is like <laughs> the bottom of the barrel. This is like how <laughs> far to the wrong side they've come with mini games. They're so out of ideas. Mm -hmm. It's like that was the last one they created where it was like, let's just have them jump and hit a box that gives them money. <laughs> But I don't, think this one has, yeah, I don't think this one has any of those. Yeah. The only game thus far that I still don't understand, and it seems like that, seems very chance-based, is Pet the Wiggler. I actually, I actually think I was getting the hang of that the last time I played it. Because I think you're, it's not about continuously petting him until you die. It's the fact that you get points every time you pet him, so you don't have to pet him if you think you're gonna, he's going to get mad. And it gets more likely that he'll freak out in later rounds, so you can pet him less. So you can get point you get points by petting him, but you don't have to pet him if you don't want to die. Yeah, but that also means that the person who goes first gets more points. Yes, At least... like everybody in the first round has a better chance of not dying. I think. Yeah, I I don't know. It seemed very because in the begin, I mean, in the two, I think I played it three or four times. In the first two times I played the first two people would pet him and he wouldn't open his eyes. Yeah. But then the next two games that I played, like the first time someone pet him, he opened his eyes. It was just weird. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I just feel like I need to play it more to understand it or ask someone, hey, yeah. how do I play this? And they'll be like, <laughs> this is how you play it. And I'll be like, okay. Right. So, I don't know. So far, that's the only one that I've been like, oh, what the crap? But maybe that'll change. Um, yes. Do we have any specific mini games in mind that we thought were some of our favorites um probably gosh i wish i had a list here um i know the football one is one of my favorites oh yeah i forgot about that one where you have and to dodge all the football players yeah 
And then the one where you have to run away from those punchy ghosties. The cruising for a bruising. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, the one where you, the one where you look, I don't know why this is, I like this one, but the one where you have to look at the heart. Oh, I like that one too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, because it's really uh, intense, because everyone yeah. has to do it as fast as possible. Yo, know, and the slapper, slapperazzi one. Oh, one yeah, too. the that slapperazzi was, so <laughs> was a, a really fun, and, and it's funny too, just seeing all the pictures. And uh, there's one that reminds me of j the hot jump rope. I don't know if you played this one yet, because we definitely didn't play it when you were here. Out of all the games we played, we didn't play it. Which one? But it's uh, there's a spiky ball that rolls by, and you have to jump over it. Oh, I didn't play that one. Yeah, for some That's reason, we just before? never got to it. Yeah. And you jump over it, and it's like, sometimes it comes by fast, and sometimes it comes by slower, and you just gotta jump at it at, it at the right time. Oh, dang. Oh, I also like the minigame where, the one of the team games, where you're like, running in that circle, and one of the panels is gonna fall down. Oh my gosh. So you have to like, avoid it. I know, I <laughs> still have All the ones where, to... you, where you have like, control of the, over your character, I really like. Yeah. yeah. Those I, have always I, been there's just, there's just a lot of good games, at least coming to my memory. I mean, I know, I know that, well, I know that you don't care for the flipping of the meat one. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, I don't hate that one. Yeah. I really like that bad one for some it. reason. <laughs> and then the one where you have to choose the biggest... Uh, space. The biggest space of whatever, the blocks or whatever. Yeah. Just the biggest space on the panel. And um, there's another one that I was thinking of, but I can't remember what it was. I don't know. There's just a lot of good games. There's, there's games that are genuinely fun. Yeah, and I feel like there's not a lot of games where I go in and I'm thinking, let's just get this over with. Right. So yeah, good job, Nintendo. My gosh. I know. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching part one of our Super Mario Party discussion. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled for part two, which will be released tomorrow. Till then, have a great rest of the day or night. Bye bye.